Uh, we've been talking about house law reform for well over 100 years, uh, and uh, it's rather nice that exactly 100 years ago, in 1911, Parliament passed the Parliament Act and said the Second Chamber should be elected it by some sort of say it all, popular mandate. No, I mean, it's, it's, we've taken a long time to get here, but for the first time ever, a government has published a bill in draft with a white paper laying out what an elected Second Chamber would look like. Why is this important? It's important because I think that people need to rebuild their trust in politicians, and I believe that in the 21st century, if you're going to wield political power, you should do so because people have elected you into Parliament rather than simply being appointed or indeed inherited or anything else. Lawmakers need to give wider recognition to the contribution of churches and faith-based organizations in providing the social glue that holds communities together. It is a very important issue. It's been rattling around the uh, constitutional bottom drawer for very many years. Uh, just because it doesn't seem to be the most pressing issue, it doesn't mean it's not an important issue or not relevant to the people of this country. And certainly if we had a second chamber that was elected, it would change politics. Uh, I think it would be better able to hold the government to account, it would be more independent of so, parties. So, so you are a genuine convert, because you used to be against this, didn't you? About 20 years ago, I, I wondered if there was any point in, uh, mm. in all of this, but I studied it, looked at it, and I'm very ambitious for the House of Lords. I think the House of Lords would be better if it were elected. It would be, have more authority to hold the, uh, the government to account. And indeed, when it had battles of will between the, the House of Commons, I think it would, it would strengthen its hand.